with the threat of some further rain from the west. So it's soggy, 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 I'm afraid. Very Lou. soggy. I wonder if it's yes. different in Ghana. All these years I've wanted to say, let's cross live to Ghana. And I can now to speak to uh, Professor Tim Layton. Hi there, Tim. Hello. Hello. L- listen to that delay and everything. We can tell it's absolutely real. Explain exactly where you are and why you're there. I'm in uh, northern Ghana. It's a very rural district. It's about 10 kilometres short of the uh, south of the border with Burkina Faso. And it's a, a rural community, but there's a, uh, a hospital here and um, there is a, uh, a, a research centre called the Nabongo Health Research Centre. And this is um, a very uh, important area for being able to study uh, the effectiveness of interventions. Um, you know, malaria vaccinations, uh, finding out, you know, why uh, there's a high uh, mortality rate with mothers and babies. And so this is a rural community and, you you, you, you know, in areas, in, in, in some districts around here, you know, your, your, your chance of, of not surviving uh, to 28 is, uh, is, is 6% and that's 28 days. Um, and a lot of that is uh, uh, sepsis setting in uh, from infections after the umbilical cord is severed. So I've got a device called um, Star Healer, which uh, cleans uh, wounds and accelerates uh, the wound healing. Um, and so uh, I featured on you earlier with, with an early invention, Star Stream, that cleans instruments. And all these use just a stream of cold water with sound passing through it. Um, uh, and of course, that's quite important here because uh, consumables, resources like chemicals, everything is, is, is costly and expensive. But if we can, um, uh, we, you know, if you can get clean water and it comes in sachets for, for drinking, little plastic uh, sachets for drinking, if you can get clean water and electricity with my device, then um, we hope to be able to access the. Um, the uh, mother and newborns fairly quickly. There's a, a program called CHIPS here whereby nurses are given motorbikes and uh, medical kits and they can go out into the rural community um, where there's been a birth and uh, attend to the uh, child. Um, and, you know, even with that facility, that there can be quite a high mortality rate mm. So um, for both mothers and babies. And so I'm hoping that if I can get the Star Healer device uh, fitted so that the electricity can be powered from a, one of these uh, CHIPS nurse motorbikes and the water supply can be made to uh, come from some of this uh, packaged water, which is, you know, the, the, mm. the, the drinking water that's available here, uh, then they can access these... Um, uh, these births and help both mother and baby. Wow, what some incredible work. So you're originally from Southampton Uni. This research trip uh, has sort of been going now because this is your last day in Ghana. And we, we need to ask you the important yeah. question, which does sort of pale into insignificance to, 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 compared to what you've been describing about your work there. But what is the weather like at the moment? It's very hot. <laughs> <laughs> How did I know it you were going to say that? <laughs> uh, it, it's hot, the air is still. It's humid. Um, we went and stood by a lake full of crocodiles yesterday, and the crocodiles were uh, coming out and uh, uh, getting um, getting uh, a bit of sunbathing in. Wow. So yes, it's, it's it's pretty warm weather for everyone. There will be a rainy season uh, later in the year, but I'll I'll have gone by then. Yeah, you'll have gone by then. So when are you heading back? Is it tomorrow? Uh, yes, yes. OK, well, yeah. safe journey back and you'll be delighted to know it's going to be about nine Celsius and uh, raining <laughs> tomorrow. So enjoy that. Uh, Tim, an absolute pleasure yeah. to talk to you. You're doing some fabulous work. Enjoy the rest of your uh, your trip and your last day. Thank you very much. Take care. That's uh, Professor Goodbye. Tim Layton, bye-bye, from uh, Southampton Uni, who's in Ghana at the moment on that fascinating research trip. And, yeah, very hot with crocodiles sunbathing. BBC 